Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is Boxy Charm Day, and it's actually gonna be the unboxing of the Boxy Lux. And for those of you who have Boxy Charm, you guys already know what's significant about this box. But if you guys don't have Boxy Charm or Ipsy, <clears throat> I will fill you in on what's going on. So this is actually going to be the last official boxy Lux box that they ever make. And this round of boxes this month for Boxy Charm are the last ones that they're going to do. Because as you guys know, or if you've been following me, two years ago, approximately, Ipsy went and bought out Boxy Charm, And they were owned by the same company, Ipsy. Um, but they were two separate entities. But now that they're they are fully merging and they're creating their own subscriptions. So if you have Boxy Charm, it's going to turn into the Boxy Lux is actually going to be the I think it's the Beauty Icon box or something like that. Um, and then there's going to be you're still going to have like a base tier of Boxy Charm and then your premium, but there are different names. And I, right now I don't have that on the top of my head. I believe the price points are going to be the same. The only changes are going to be is that instead of picking two products that you want, you get to pick three products that you want. And you also have the opportunity to know exactly what's coming in your box before you get it, which is nice. So you can kind of pre-plan. Um, I also do know that with the Ipsy um, beauty um, quizzes, when you do the beauty quizzes, they actually follow along with the quizzes and do what you want. So if you want mainly um, skincare, you're going to get mainly skincare in your boxes. If you like mainly makeup, you're going to get mainly makeup in your products. If you like a variety of both, you're going to get a variety of both every time. And so I feel like these are going to be some good changes. Um, so with enough talking of that, um, let's get into the final BoxyCharm spring unboxing for Boxy Lux. All right. So I have two cards in my box. One talking about the BoxyCharm and the Ipsy merge, the card on all the perks of that and then this is the card that we've got one this month the theme of this month is planet woman and in the corner they have 0323 that tells you the mark the month and the year that this variation came out and of course they still have the crazy variations down at the bottom but at least we got a card to calculate the products and see more information about what we're getting so without further ado let's get into it First product that I see is by Super Dose Cora's Greek Yogurt Face Mask Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask. Let's read what it says. A Super Dose Greek Yogurt Facial Mask works as a total skin reset in less than 10 minutes, powered by more pre and probiotic rich real Greek yogurt than any other skin care product out there. And it retails for $50. Two dollars. Well, the thing of it is, is, if you want good skincare, you're not going to pay a cheap price for it. Um, most skincare is going to be very pricey, but it's very much well worth it um, with the benefits that you get from the skin. If I can open this container up, at least it's very well much contained. So this is. The container it comes in, it's glass, and this is supposed to be a face mask. This is a lot of product for like a facial mask. Facial masks are always good for the skin, but it has a, I don't know what I feel about this smell. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to swatch this. On the hand, it kind of has like a chunky consistency. It kind of has a chemical smell mixed in with like a coconut smell. So it's very odd. But it's washed on my hand. Very nice. It's very moisturizing and leaves 
the skin very wet. So that's nice. It's just that I don't know how I'm going to like it on my face. And I also don't know how I'm going to be able, how I'm going to like the smell. So since this is a face mask, how there's no like some certain face masks tell you how long to put it on there and leave it on there. This one does not. So I'm just going to go with the basic time limit. And it's about 10 to 15 minutes. You leave a face mask on your face, let it soak into your skin. And then after the 10, 15 minutes is done, then you rinse that off and you wash your face off with the product. All right. So the next product that I see is by the new company. It's the super thick scalp serum for hair density and scalp health. Let's read what it says. For hair that is thinning or regularly sheds, this topical scalp supplement is the form of a serum is designed to reduce hair shedding and build thicker hair with more body. 90% said their hair is stronger and thicker after 90 days of use before washing massage into the scalp while dry two to three times a week. Okay, so if you wash your hair every day, put this in your hair before you take a shower or bath. If you, um, want to put it on your dry hair, put it on two to three times a day is what I'm getting from this. Um, I feel like as a woman, women lose their hair a lot easier than what men do. I didn't say they don't. They do all of them. I just said a lot easier. Um, cause women lose our hair quite frequently. We have long hair, so it falls out. This will be really nice. I of course have long hair. I do have a past of having hair falling out. I also am an anemic person. People who are anemic, they end up losing their hair a lot more people than people who aren't. So this, I feel like, is really going to help me out. Okay, so let's see the next product. So far, we've gotten one hair product, one skincare product. Let's see what's next. All right, so I got something called Grown Alchemist. Let's read what it says. It's the Balancing Toner. Rose, ginseng, and chamomile. A refreshing, invigorating toner for an instant lift and radiant glow. Leaves the face soft and clean, balancing the skin, refining facial pores, or evening out skin tone. And it retails for $36. So yeah, so if you have um, splotchy skin or like rosy skin or whatnot, or you have like freckles on your face or like I have that I hide... Or anything like that. Um, toners are really good for your skin. They will even out your skin tone and they will smooth it out. And you, I believe it um, helps with the dryness with your face. And also the rose and rat, um, the rosy cheeks and stuff if you do not like that. Um, and that, I, if I didn't say it already, it retails for $36. So every toner is basically the same. It does the same kind of thing. So I'm not really going to do anything with this right here on the video just because, well, it is sealed, but just because I already have my makeup set, there's no reason to put toner on my face right now. So let's read. And it just smells like, it smells like rose. I can smell the rose, so it's not like a chemically smell, so that's really, really nice. So that'll be good. I'm getting mainly skincare heavy products, it seems, but we'll see. Okay, the next product is by Mellow Way. Let's read what it says. Mellow Way Your Way Mascara, an award-winning volumizing mascara featuring a patented adjustable brush and lash feeding formula infused with carotene, amino acids, arrogant oil, and red algae extract. Long-lasting and smudge-proof, this deeply pigmented super black formula luxuriously coats lashes for maximum drama while the patented Helix brush perfectly separates and fans out your lashes for a falsy-like look. And it retails for $22. Well, Considering I don't wear falsies, I don't know if I'm going to like the falsie look, but hopefully that just implies that it's going to give lots of volume to the lashes. So let's see. This is the tube. It's a very bright orange, but the tube is actually made out of this weird plastic. Like, I, I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but it did come out pretty thick. I wouldn't say that this wand is anything extra special that we haven't seen before. Um, but the mascara is thick when it came out, so it'll be interesting to try this out. 
Mas getting mascaras is always good. So that's our first makeup product that we've received this month. Okay, so then the next product is by Ciate London. Leche and Acai Burst Conditioning Lip Oil. Let's read what this says. An innovative gloss all hybrid that combines the hydration of a balm and the shine of a glass with zero stickiness, packed with lip nourishing ingredients, delicately scented and lightly sweet with just a slight hint of color. And it retails for $16. So I don't know if any of these have shades, but let's just open up the box of this. And this is kind of like a pinky shade and it's almost like, so I did have a lip liner on my lips earlier, but I'm just going to apply this on my lips, test it out. I don't want anything too like bold on my lips today. I like the, I like the formula. It's definitely shiny and glossy, and it leaves my lips feeling moisturized, so that's going to be a nice lip lip gloss. And the last product that I see is by Complex Culture. Let's read what it says. The Baked Highlighter and Bronzer Quad. Go for the glow with this creamy, blendable, foursome infused with skin-loving ingredients. Buildable formulas are baked to perfection to intensify pigment for vibrant color that lasts. Enjoy the dewy effects of liquid in the convenience of a powder for a healthy dose of glow. And it retails for $42. So it looks like this month I got half makeup and half like skincare product. Well, two skincare, one hair, and then three makeup. But let's see what this pal palette does for us. Okay, let's put that there. And you know what? I didn't drop anything yet. Knock on wood. Knock on wood for that. This is what the palette looks. It's a brown shade. And it one of those closing ones, this the plastic came out. So this is what she looked like. It's supposed to be a highlight and bronzer. So let's swatch each one of these. Might as well, right? What's that one? So those are the two different highlighter shades. They're not that much different from each other, but let's see how the, they swatch on the skin. Those are the two bronzing shades. So I am light complected. So this is a good palette for me for bronzing and highlight. These are the shades that I would use. So these are the shades that came out. So you can see a slight difference in the highlighters. They're very pigmented. I really do like them. I didn't swatch very much on my hand. And that's how vibrant they came out. So that's really good. These are the two shades for the bronzer. I think that they're going to go really well for my skin tone. Just because I am lighter complected. And they won't be too like in your face. Like too dark. I won't have to do much blending with another lighter shade. To get the... Um, the bronze look that I need okay so this I'm just going to say so I saw one other unboxing on uh, social media of the boxy the boxy looks and I have to say that um, I really did like her unboxing however um, I'm not really um, this boxy looks to be the last one official one didn't really do anything for me. I mean, yeah, the products are nice and I'm grateful to have them, but I wouldn't say they're my favorite. Um, but let's go ahead and calculate the value of how much this box costed. The worth of it anyways. Okay, so we got 36, 45, 52, 42, 16 and 22 for a total box value of $213. Um, always, always a really good deal based on how much you're paying per month for the box. Um, but I am looking forward and I'm very hopeful to what next month is going to be for April with a, a Ipsy and BoxyCharm merging together. If this is the first time you're tuning into my channel, welcome. 
if you liked what you saw, hit the like button, please, so I can keep pushing content out, content out like this for you guys. Um, if you, like I said, if this is the first time you're tuning in and you want to know more about BoxyCharm, check out my other videos from the past. Uh, because they're going to be the ones that are mainly about BoxyCharm. Uh, my m videos going forward are going to be the new BoxyCharm to Ipsy subscription boxes. So that's something to look forward then too. Um, and as always, I hope you all stay beautiful. You all have a wonderful day and you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.